Hey guys, um, Browses Reptiles here. So today we decided to take a trip to the Fort Worth Zoo and um, I put together some a mixture of some videos and pictures from the MOLA Museum of Living Art and um, I thought I'd show them to you. So here it is. Hope you like it. Here was one of their Gaboon Vipers. Um, pretty cool little guy. Well, not very little, but pretty cool. Um, here's a still shot of him. Um, lit up some more where you can see him. Right here was their King Cobra, Ophiophagus Hanna. Pretty big. Um, he was in shed. You could tell by his, his eye caps were darkening up, turning that blue blue shade. Um, he's kind of back in there to where you couldn't see him. His head very well, but here in just a second there's a still shot of his head. Um, right here. It's kind of blurry. It's through the glass. Sorry about that. Um, here are the um, western green mamba. Um, pretty cool little guy. Dendroaspis. And then right here was their aquatic turtle setup. Um, I really liked that. It was pretty cool. Um, I think I'm pretty sure all that was in there was turtles. Um, and then over where I'm showing you right now is if you look down there, that's a Varanus Melinus, a yellow monitor. That guy loved the water. He never got out of it the whole time we were there. Um, a lot of people don't realize how aquatic they really are. Um, sorry, trying to weed my way through the crowd. Um, right there, that's the Eurmastix. I didn't look to see what kind, but Eurmastix had some scars on his side, but. And then right there is, um, now I'm going to go blank, I think it's an Arabian or African. If I'm wrong, I'll put a little deal. Those are budget frogs. Um, pretty cool, kind of wrinkly looking. Right there is a um, Puerto Rican crested toad. Never seen one of those before. And then coming up, um, there was their graphics card. That right there is a yellow tree. Looks kind of green, but he's yellow. Varanus Rosengiri. Um, pretty cool. Okay, right there you see how fat he is. I'm not sure whether she was, um, either it's an obese one or she is gravid. You can't, I couldn't tell. But, um, hopefully she's gravid. That'd be kind of cool. That's her enclosure. It's probably two by two. Though, wow, that is a nice Fijian banded iguana. Really like those guys. Pretty cool. Here's a still shot of them. And then right up here was one I did a little editing to and really brought out his nice colors. And then here we have the Europlatus. Um, if you look at him, he's right there in the middle of the screen, pancaked against the wall. And then there is the Molinus himself. I just I did a video of just him. Pretty cool guy. Was digging the tank enclosure. There's the top half. And then here is a panned out view. And then what is this? This is, oh, crocodile monitor. Yeah, this looks like a juvenile. Pretty cool little guy. This is on the inside. And then coming up here in a couple slides, there's one of the outside enclosure. There's panned out of his enclosure. It was pretty nice. I really like these guys' setups. And then there's an adult. Um, they had another adult outside on a really, really big enclosure. Really cool. Here's panned out of the enclosure. If you see him, he's in the left-hand side. And then here are the frilled dragons. There was two of them in there. Pretty cool guys. Liked them a lot. And then there's a still shot of them. And then right there we have some Gila monsters. Um, okay, scientific name, we think. Um, Heliderma, ba, 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 I don't remember the last part. Um, Spectrum or something like that. I'm probably wrong. No, sorry about that. And then some beaded, beaded lizards, pretty cool. Pretty cool little guys. Venomous as well. There's their cage. They had a really high cage. They didn't, they don't use it, but... Well, sorry, that one's sideways, but that's the gila, gilas. Those are the beaded's. And then here is one of their, I believe, two Komodos. Two was all they had on exhibit today. Very cool guys. 
really nice enclosure. I was liking it. And there's a still shot. Pretty cool. And a headshot. And then right here is the cage panned out. And then right here was the um, the other separate, a different Komodo outside. Um, cro Chinese crocodile lizard, really cool. Um, Cayman lizard, Dracaena. I saw two. I know, I'm not sure how many there were. Um, Dracaena guianensis, or I'm not for sure how to pronounce that last part. That was the second one. And then there was their enclosure. Really awesome. I'm loving it. They had about four feet of water. That's a Parsons chameleon right there. Big, big guy. Chinese salamander is what that one is. Then this is a um, Bolin's python. And then a dwarf came in. We're going kind of fast here, sorry. Um, some gharials. And then right here was, they called that their hatchling and incubation room. Um, that was the left side, and then there was the outside. Not a whole lot of incubating going on, going on. But um, anyway, that was that was the mola. Um, that was not a fraction of what was in there. So much stuff. No way I could get it all on video. But um, that was some of the highlights. Definitely recommend this place. Love it. I could have spent the whole day in it. But um, anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys.